Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a collective message. The vibe today is Friday, November 4th, 2022, if you care to know the date. But don't get hung up on dates and times and stuff like that, because someone might, because we have a lot of clocks in these images. But anyways, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. I'm on Patreon. Check me out over there. Um, I have exclusive content over there, and sometimes I'll put videos on first so you get early access and it just depends I'm a little I'm a little behind on the uh, early access stuff so it's just mainly patreon only content I do have openings for personals if you've purchased a personal reading I have most of them uploading now um, I think I have one left and at this time at least it changes all the time so anyways if you're waiting for that I'm busting through <laughs> I'm busting through these walls through these obstacles, through everything. <coughs> and some of you might be doing that, and that might be why I'm saying that. Like, if anyone's putting any any problems in your path, if they're creating blockages or delays or whatever, I feel like psh, you're just mowing it all over, you know what I'm saying? But there is someone who I feel like has dug themselves a hole that they don't feel like they can get out of, or they're trying really hard to get out of it because... There was a level of confusion here and I feel like someone just chose the wrong fucking path no matter who that is to you and they're trying to fix something really fucking quick or it's like I feel like I'm in a rush I need to do this I need to do this I need to make time for you for this for that because I have I have something very important that I need to do I'm late I'm late I'm late for a very important date so someone's rushing around potentially today or within this energy um because they're trying to figure something out. They could be trying to figure you out. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. Someone was trying to figure things out really quickly and they could have gotten very confused or they made the wrong choice because they weren't thinking clearly. It's like they're forgetting who they are, where they come from. And it's like letting all their morals and values and stuff just fly out the fucking window <laughs> because because of money, because of an opportunity, because of a misunderstanding. There's a lot of miscommunication in here, but somebody was led astray is what it feels like. I feel like I was duped and there's a moment of regret. Someone's regretting their actions. They're regretting something they said or did or whatever. And it's almost like I really got to fix this like fucking yesterday. So someone wants to fix the situation between the two of you or just fix something in their own life and they feel like they either ran out of time or I don't know it's like tick tock tick tock motherfucker <laughs> I there's not enough time in a day to get everything done someone might want to make time for you they feel bad that they didn't make time for you in the past and they're regretting that because maybe you walked away from them um this person's very drawn to you no matter who they are keep your temper don't allow anger to rule you Whoever this is might be really pissed off that you're not talking to them anymore or that a situation ended for them or that's you. For some of you, it's an outsider who's not happy with the way that things are going because something should have been done or handled by now. Because when I was sitting down in the garage, <coughs> excuse me, I'm talking so fast it's making me cough. When I was sitting down in the garage, I was like... I kept grabbing my hand like and I heard in my head we're gonna pull this off so it's not like taking a glove off or whatever it's we need to pull this off don't worry we will pull this off it's almost like we can't rush we can't rush through this because we can't fuck it up but something shit just wasn't going right in the situation whatever it is and now they feel like they're on a time crunch. So it could be multiple people who feel that way or just one. I don't know. It feels like multiple. But it's like, don't worry. We'll pull this off. So someone has a plan or they're scheming or something. Because they dug themselves a hole that they cannot get out of. And I feel like it has something to do with a level of power. Like they wanted to have control over you, a situation, whatever. They wanted to hold the key, basically. And... Um, they're probably a little pissed that they don't have the key. They can't, they can't access you. You slammed the door and locked it in this person's face or these people's faces. Like their spirits definitely protecting you and keeping whoever these people are away from you. 
at this time, but it's like, I don't know. I almost feel like I used to have an in with you. Like I could get information. I could do this, that, whatever, but whoever this is can't anymore. You could have blocked them online. So maybe they can't see your social media anymore, or you're just not talking to them. So, cause for some reason, I want to say <coughs> for some of you, you are literally running to the enemy, like to the problem. Well, I'll put it that way to someone who is problematic in your life. Someone who's very misguided, who is doing things for all the wrong reasons. And it feels like you could have thought this person was your friend, could have been a family member, you know, something It's someone that you were close to, or you would just confide in them. You know what I mean? And you were literally <laughs> giving the problem information so that they could roll with it in whatever way they want. And I feel like that's not happening anymore. And someone's like, well, I lost the power. You know, I don't have it in anymore, but they're trying to figure out how to, how to get back in. Do I have time to get back in? I got to do this quick. This feels like an in and out job. You know, it's almost like thieves and shit where it's like, all right, we got to make this quick. So we're going to plan all this and we're going to go in and we're going to go out because we're not getting fucking caught. Whoever's doing that bullshit, whether it's theft or not, you're getting fucking caught. So I would just not, um, cause I don't know. This plan seems pretty stupid. It seems pretty fucking stupid. It has something to do with money. Someone has stupid ideas and they think they're fucking brilliant and they're not. So I think they need to go back to the drawing board, focus on themselves and butt the fuck out of your life is what this feels like. So now what? <laughs> oh man, that's driving me nuts. The fucking chest thing. Some of you could be dealing with a cough or a cold or something because my cough is literally getting better. Like I barely cough today at all. And now I sit down this energy and I feel all raspy and wheezy all of a sudden. <coughs> Wheezing could be significant. It could be like a smoker's thing or cause it's making me think of when people smoke rock and that will really fuck your lungs up. Just saying someone could have, what is that? Popcorn lung or like water lung. I don't know. Something where isn't the popcorn lung thing from vaping and shit? It could be from anything, but someone might be dealing with a respiratory issue and it has something to do with whatever they're breathing in, whether they're intentionally smoking or they're just around chemicals and shit. I don't know. There's a breathing issue for someone and it feels like it's long standing. Like this cough, this breathing issue, has been going on for a while. That could just be a clue as to who's involved or if this message is for you or whatever. All right, so what is going on actually? I feel like I'm running out of time. Somebody wants to make a love offer. Somebody wants to apologize potentially for betraying you. Curiosity meets opportunity. Cause this is a painful ending. It's almost like when somebody finally figures something out, they figure out that you're the one for them or that you weren't the problem or whatever. They feel betrayed by whoever lied to them or by their actions or both because they're realizing that this is a very strong soul connection because there's a lot of regret with this connection. It's like, why didn't I see it? Why didn't, why did I'm so, I'm, I feel like I'm nervous now. I'm shaking. Like I feel like I lost you forever. Like, it's like you were right there the whole time. And then, and then because of whatever happened between you guys, whatever was said, done, whatever, it's like, then you're gone. Just as quick as the wind blew past my face. Right when they see, right when this person was like, wow, you, you, you really are connected to me. Um, I don't know. I feel all flustered and shaky and nervous and I don't know what to do now because I think I just let the opportunity of a lifetime fucking fly out the window is what this looks like. They feel backstabbed and betrayed by other people. You could feel betrayed by this person because of whatever they said and did, how they treated you. Um, and 
and it's because of an outsider. Yeah, there was someone who was stopping this connection. There's a bullshitter around. And this person, whoever it is, might have felt rushed by you originally. Like, especially if you shared your feelings with them, they might have been like, all right, you're being pushy. I can't rush this situation because of my past, because of whatever's going on in their life. Like, they were really busy. They probably weren't making time for you, but you weren't rushing them. You were just trying to move things forward, and they were they were at a standstill. So if someone's just standing still and not moving and you're even slowly moving forward, it feel it can feel rushed. It can feel pushy because they're just not doing anything. And that's kind of what was going on here. And now this person wants to kind of switch things around and be like, well, I want to try, you know, I don't know. They're seeing things from a very different perspective and it could be due to an ending because I feel like a lot of you aren't talking to this person. You don't associate with them anymore. I don't know for how long this has been going on, like how long this disconnect has gone on for the two of you, but it feels like a very painful ending. Like I didn't want to let you go, but I had to. And this person's like, well, I wish you didn't let me go because now it hurts. Um, yeah, something like that. I just heard you're my rainbow. So someone wants to taste the rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, somebody's heavily thinking about you right now. It keeps popping in my head. Power is very significant. So someone might feel like you have power over them. They have power over you. Or there's an outsider who's trying to maintain a sense of power over the situation. Like, I will control... I don't know, this person could be used to being controlled by other people and they felt they felt like you were doing that and they don't want they didn't want that. But you weren't, or they weren't, someone wasn't. The, I don't know, I just feel like I'm reflecting. I'm going over past communication, I'm going over messages, I'm going over information, time we spent together, whatever. And it's like, why didn't I see it this way before? Why did I see it in black and white? Why didn't I see the color someone's moving into HD now because it was either this or that there was no in between and now this person's in the in between like it's not just this or that there's so much more and they're really fucking scared they're worried this person does fear commitment but they're worried that you're gone that you won't accept their apology that you won't you don't want to talk to him ever again because you fucking walked away. That's a sense of betrayal. This person might be a little butthurt and angry that you're not associating with them anymore, but they need to look in the mirror and ask themselves why you decided to walk away or vice versa. Um, and I feel like they are because this person's heavily thinking of you. It could be a Virgo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. I don't really feel much Aquarius, but... person's just watching you move away and they don't know what to do they don't know how to apologize for creating a level of conflict here because this person had like an internal battle going on but I feel like they could have been you know fighting with other people too like fighting against what people were saying about you about the situation um this person doesn't know how to fight for this anymore like what do I how do I fight for this how do how do I say this how do I what do I do? Like, that's what this feels like. What do I do? <laughs> this person read you all wrong is what it feels like. They misjudged the shit out of you. Probably because of communication. Somebody is upset about what they said to you. Like, there's certain messages that, that could have correspondence between you and this person that might have upset you or them or both of you. And it's like... Why did I fucking say that? This person's worried that they freaked you out, that they scared you away. Because they could have said something that did freak you out. Like, like I don't like what you're saying. Like, you're, you're giving me the fucking creeps, creeper. And they're not a creeper. It was, I don't know, because I kind of feel yes and no. It depends on the person. I just heard, I was just trying to be funny. So if someone was just trying to make it light of a situation, they were just sharing their sense of humor so they could have like a, a dark, macabre sense of humor. Um, and I feel like you do too and your understanding of that, but somebody said something. And it could have been because of the way that they were acting on top of what they said or just, I don't know, outsiders interfering as well. Um, whatever it is, it, it made you fucking haul ass out of the situation is what it looks like. 
This person really wants to talk to you. They're worried about some type of information getting out. That's someone else. There's someone else here who's worried about some type of past communication. They're worried that you're going to tell someone something. Or that someone's going to find something out. So there could be someone in a different situation or surrounding the situation that's causing problems. and Like, because they didn't want a certain someone to find out that they were talking to you. Or they didn't want someone to find out what they were saying. This feels like cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater type shit. But even if it has nothing to do with infidelity, it's... Somebody doesn't want some type of information to get out. They're worried that some type of communication is going to get out. Yeah, they're fucking worried, all right. It's almost like the things that we talked about, the things that you know, whatever this person said, are you going to tell everyone now that you're not in my life? Now that I hurt you? Now that I ended things? Are you going to share all my secrets, basically? Somebody might be worried that the Empress is going to share their secrets or that or you're worried that someone's going to share your secrets but this feels like somebody else because like, I feel like the empress energy walked away from this masculine male female doesn't matter but it's like you're standing in your power and you're very open because she's you know her shirt's open and everything like that so it's just like I'm not hiding anything you know there's some personal shit down here that that maybe you didn't share with this person or you don't want people to know because we've got to have a level of privacy, you know what I'm saying? But everyone does. But for the most part, I feel like you're like an open book. So I don't really feel like you're worried about anything getting out. There's someone who is very private, who keeps to themselves, who's like, I don't want this devilish energy to find out that we were talking, that, that I said this, that, and the other to you. So someone could be partnered. Maybe you were aware, maybe you weren't. Someone's worried. There's like blackmail energy here. Someone could be blackmailing somebody or that's part of someone's plan. Like, well, I'm going to get what I want because I have information. I have the, the shovel. I have dirt on you. Someone has dirt on someone and they could be blackmailing them or... That's part of this plan. Like I said, someone's like, well, now or never, I guess we're last resort. We're going to blackmail this motherfucker to do our bidding, to do whatever they need someone to do. It's like, if you don't do this for me, if we don't clean this up, if we don't figure blah, 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 whatever out, I'm going to tell so-and-so that you did this, said this, whatever. I'm going to take this little piece of evidence and out your ass some not me Jessica but somebody's gonna out someone they're blackmailing someone a baby mama could be blackmailing someone too or someone doesn't want their baby mama spouse whatever to fucking find something out <coughs> <coughs> I just heard how did you know that how did you know that so there's some information that you found out that maybe you shouldn't know or someone wants to know that how you know about their plans or whatever but even if it's not about their plans and this blackmail shit it is but even if it's something else going along with it it's like where'd you get this information from how'd you know that someone was stalking spying hacking doing something it's like reading a message you weren't supposed to see or hearing something you weren't supposed to hear or whatever and the wrong person got some type of information. This person's a nasty motherfucker, basically. And it's got somebody really worried. They have stuck energy. Yeah, someone feels stuck because of this fucking level of betrayal. What do I do? What do I do? I just heard, what do I do? I'm sitting here watching you. I'm watching you. Someone could have been watching or listening to you during a very difficult time in your life because what this is making me think of is she's really sad sitting there 
And there's a mirror on the bed. There's scissors. There's a sword and all that. And, of course, there's two people fucking outside the window. Just saying. And she could be upset about that. But she has her back turned to it. So it's almost like whatever this connection is, this person isn't upset about this. This person's upset about something else. It could be you. It could be them. Whoever's being blackmailed or whatever. Um, I heard it's you. So whatever that means to you. But somebody could have literally seen you break down. Um, seeing you in a very weak, vulnerable moment because there's a level of stuckness or something. Like it's, it's like being upset that you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of something that, but it, this feels like people put, like made you stuck, <laughs> you know, like, I don't feel like you're just hanging out keeping yourself stuck I feel like it's just outside circumstances like people making things difficult for you or something and there's like a really sad moment here where someone broke down when they were alone like I can't it's almost like I can't go on like this is I can't handle this anymore so there could have been like a, a breakdown moment for someone and that's making somebody else regret their decisions because they actually care about you. It's like, I'm so sorry that I hurt you like that. But this person doesn't want you to know that they were the ones that hurt you. They did something. Maybe you don't even know that this person knows these things about you because they were stalking. Well, they feel like an asshat for it. I just heard, I fucked up big time. Someone fucked up big time. They could have ruined a beautiful opportunity because of money. Why does this keep coming up? It's fucking ticking me off. I'm just thinking the money thing, but this person just kept, kept making you wait on communication. It's almost like, oh, well, so-and-so message me. Will they message me? Will they message me? And it's like, yeah, I feel like they will. And you might have felt like they really were going to talk to you because maybe you're feeling their energy and it's just like, um, cause they were thinking of you, but they never really pursued. They never took action. You were the one to always take action in this situation. And cause she's just staring at a painting. Like, are you going to ever fucking say anything? Am I staring at a fantasy at a dream? Or is this fucking real? Are you really going to climb out of that painting and say something? Or is this all an illusion? Could have been an illusion. <coughs> Due to some type of magic. Because there's obsessive energy in here big time. Yeah, there's a creeper right there. The two of pentacles in this one's kind of creepy. He's sneaking up on her. And it's like... I don't know. Because it feels like... I want to touch you so bad. But... But I can't because it's an illusion. Because it's a lie. I want to touch you so bad, but I can't. Because this isn't real. Someone might have thought that this connection wasn't real, and it is. But I don't know. This feels like a fucked up plan. Someone had some stupid ideas. Is whatever it is. Because it's like... This person's obsessed with you for one. They obsessively think about you, whatever. Because, I mean, if you're going to cut someone's hair like that, <laughs> with the devil right next to it, I feel like, um, yeah, there's definitely an attachment. So this person is very attached to you, or they were attached to a past person and it was stopping them from moving forward. But it's like a sense of temptation because... How do I want to explain this? Because it's really fucking confusing all of a sudden. Like... Whoever this person is to you, could have been your love interest, because it feels like there was a strong soul connection here. There still is. It's just you're not associating with whoever this is right now or whatever. But, um, okay. It's like, I want to touch you, but I can't. Someone's stopping this person from fulfilling their fantasies, from touching you, from moving forward with you, from talking to you. Like, the, someone came between you and another person because, I don't know, I almost feel like someone was like, oh, this person put a spell on you. Like, it's all an illusion. This isn't real. You know, you don't want to sleep with so-and-so. You don't want to go there because then you're going to get attached. You don't want to be attached to this person. 
because they're the devil. But you're not. So they were lied to. Because this person really fucking wants to touch you. I'm just saying. They want. It's like, I wanted to be there. I wanted to hug you. Anytime you wanted to kiss me, I wanted to just scoop you up in my arms. Like, I, I just want to be in your presence. And this person had to fight off all those urges because of another person or people. Because they had to keep up some type of fucking bullshit that was created by someone else. Well, the truth is coming out about that. Or it already did. And someone's not happy. Well, they're not going to be happy. And they might move towards you really quickly. If you'll deal with them. Because you know, this, this is not you. This is someone from the past. The Queen of Cups Reverse is nasty. She's a bitch. She's emotionally manipulative. So someone was being emotionally manipulated. Potentially from a past person. Whoever this manipulator is, was making you think that you shouldn't work towards this connection, this friendship, because this is, you know, positive communication, it's a message of good news, and that's very sultry, just saying, it's like, oh, I just love spending time with you. This person might watch you at work, or something, or you guys work together, or they know where you work, or you're online, something, but I also feel like this manipulative, see you next Tuesday sees what you're doing too. Some of you could have been catfished and this person was talking to you and you thought it was somebody else. Just so you know. I don't know, whoever she is, she's taking advantage of a masculine big time. I just left a red mark on my head. <laughs> I don't know why I slapped myself. Duh. But anyways. <coughs> Whoops. Maybe somebody's doing that like the then we have the four of pentacles reverse letting go yeah whatever this person said or did it made you let go of someone that you're interested in or made them let go of you because something ain't moving forward there could be a cancerian involved this queen of cups who is very manipulative could be a cancer um or you're dealing with a cancerian but this is stopping forward movement and it is a high level of betrayal because i feel like Whoever this manipulative bitch is was keeping your person stuck, keeping a masculine stuck more than likely. And it was a major betrayal to both of you because I feel like, I feel like you're, you're really hurt by this because it's like, I feel this connection. I want to move things forward. I think everything's going wonderful, whatever, or like it's changing. Yay. I don't know. I feel a level of excitement and then it's just getting shot right fucking down. And it's like, wow, what the fuck was that about? Some of you might find out that this manipulative bitch was, um, was seducing the person you were interested in or dating. And they could have slept with them, coaxed them into it. Someone might have got coaxed into bed. And when you find out who, who the person is, you know. <laughs> You might want to cut a bitch. I'm just going to say. It's going to be very painful. Someone's regretting sleeping with someone. Because they could be tied to you. And it was all. It was all to hurt you. Whatever this is. Whether you slept with this person or not. Or they slept with somebody else. Because it feels like a couple different things here. It's like. I really hope you don't find out why. Why we slept together, why we almost, why I slept with so-and-so, or that I did sleep with so-and-so. I really hope that cat never comes out of fucking bag. You know what I mean? Like, someone is, like, really fucking worried, and they could be being blackmailed so that you don't find out what they did. Like, oh, I really don't want so-and-so to find out. I don't want to hurt her or him that way. And this bitch is like... Well, then do this, because if you don't do this, she's going to find out. He's going to find out, because I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell everyone what you did. Like, and then everyone's going to hate you, and they're going to be against you. It'll be the talk of the town. That person's a psycho. That person's a fucking psycho. I just heard you have, whoa. No idea. 
You have no idea just how fucking El Nutso that one is, apparently. Oh, man, this is making me like... I, f I feel fucking worried all of a sudden. Like... Oh my goodness. Like, oh, oh shit, it's getting fucking hot here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what it feels like but it's not getting hot in here it's just like someone's scared someone's scared someone could have been invoking a level of fear too to keep you away from someone but I feel like you let go of your love interest you let go of this person this friendship this whatever for your own sanity but it's almost like if you were spiritually guided to do so it was for a level of protection Somebody could have seen you doing something. Because they were stalking. There's a fucking creeper around. Like. For some of you. The stalker person could have cameras in your house. Or they did. Um, whether it was just audio. But I feel audio visual. And at different times or something. And it's like. I don't know. I've gotten this energy before. Someone was recorded having sex or masturbated, doing something. Like, But this feels like two people, so there could have been... Ow! Why am I squeezing my wrist? Um, I don't know. There's a sexual encounter or encounters that were recorded could be still photos could be video I don't know if they were posted online because I did get that before where like someone was putting shit on the dark web and shit because there's like oh man it's making my wrist hurt I feel like I just cut my wrist like I just got cut um but so this could be painful for someone or something that someone's going to see is very painful. Something you're going to fucking hear is painful because this is like high, high level fucking betrayal. But, um, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Someone might be freaking out just saying, well, they're going to, um, oh, fuck. Like when I get into energies, I really start feeling like certain people. I want to pull my hair out of my head right now for some reason. Someone's going to be very stressed. But anyways, um, oh, it's making my wrist hurt so bad. Like, I feel like, I almost feel like my wrist is getting broken or twisted now. Someone's twisted someone's arm. I don't know. Someone could have got physically hurt because of something. But um, they're cloaked, like the cloak of invisibility. So it's like, this is a private matter. You know what I mean? Like when you have sex, you definitely don't do it in front of an audience unless you're a porn star or you like that shit. But th these are unknowing people. Like these people don't know that they're being watched by the fucking devil who's lurking. This is, oh, <sighs> that hurt. I feel like I just cut my thumb. <coughs> Touching that card really fucking hurts. Um, yeah, but it's like not knowing that someone was literally watching. Because I just heard. I just heard, I know everything. I know everything. Sometimes curiosity kills the cat, but not always. Sometimes the cat figures shit out and maneuvers through worlds. There's spirit cats around too. You know what's really weird? 
because I'm not thinking of karmic situations and a cat being bad or anything because cats are half in and half out. They can see spirit. They can, you know, they maneuver through. That's why they sleep all fucking day. It's like a form of meditation, basically. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've literally had my cat talk to me before, like nod its head. I'll ask a question and she'll go like this or like this. And it's like, well, that's freaky. But anyway, so it's not like she literally speaks, <laughs> but, um, I've had a lot, like this one time when I was a teenager, I think I was like 16 or something, I had smoked hash for the first time. And I mean, that shit was stronger than dabs nowadays. I'm just saying, which I don't like that crap anyways now, but when I was young, first time, <clears throat> <coughs> I thought I was hallucinating. But I wasn't. What happened is, uh, like, um, marijuana and shit like that. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying it can open you up because it calms you down. You don't really think as much. It's more, like, free, free-flowing energy. Well, I didn't realize what I was capable of, just saying. And I saw this creepy woman following me around. And I had seen her again years later, too. So I knew it wasn't a hallucination. I'm like... I saw that bitch when I was a teenager. Who the fuck is she, you know? Well, she ended up going away, but it was like... It was back when I said a couple years ago that I was haunting my own ass. Like, my past self. Because I really do think that was my past self. Try and talk to me, basically. Um, but anyways, long story with that. I saw a shit ton of cats at this dude's house. And I'm just like... How many motherfucking cats do you have, you know? And he had none because he's deathly allergic to them. And I was literally petting them. And I'm like, how do you not have cats? There's so fucking many of them. And they're, they're spiritual messengers. They're, they protect you spiritually as well. <coughs> and it's like I was surrounded by all this protection. And then I had a dream, I don't know, a couple of years ago, something like that, where I was in the basement talking to, I can't breathe, <coughs> talking to someone, somebody laying down, they were relaxing, having issues breathing when they lay down or something, but I feel like I'm just kind of chilling, listening to something, watching something, I don't know, someone might have a panic attack, but regardless of that, um, I was just, Downstairs, it was a dream. I was downstairs in the basement talking to a friend of mine. And we weren't face to face like this. He had moved the chair over and he really did in real life when he was down there previously. But he was talking to me and I couldn't hear what he was saying. Like, I could, it was like um, when you get a signal and it kind of goes away, it's like little blips information was coming in little blips you know it's like this is coming through but that's blocked you know spiritually telepathically is the way that I interpreted it but it's almost like understanding a message not yes no yes no you know what I mean that type of thing and I'm just like he just kept talking and I'm like I don't know what the fuck you're saying like I can't hear you and then he got a little closer but I still couldn't make it out and then all of a sudden I saw this black cat and I looked at the cat and I'm like, what do you have to tell me? And the cat spun my fucking chair around and there was this plywood wall and I was just facing the wall like, oh, there's a wall here. There's a blockage here. That's what the cat was showing me. But it felt so fucking real. I literally felt like my body spun. I woke up going, holy crap. Like I was just on a fucking ride at the fair, you know, that's what it felt like. So cats have always been around. There's some significance there because they weave through the world. And cats can spy as well. So if there's someone who's like a witchy bitch practicing magic or doing whatever, they could be utilizing spirit cats, basically, or real cats, living cats, to spy on you. Um, to gain information because even if they can't look at the cat and go, you know, tell me, you know, what messages do you have for me? In the dream space, especially if that person sleeps with the cat, like the cat sleeps on their bed or whatever, that's where the connection can come in. And it's not a spiritual bond between you and another person. It's someone fucking lurking. There's a lurker and it's a spiritual lurker because that person is up to no good. Like 
they might have your fucking hair. Because I keep doing this and I ball my hair up when I brush my hair and stuff like anything I pick out of the hairbrush. When you cut your hair, anything like that. Someone has someone's hair or they have a, oh, I'm dizzy. They have a fucking object, an object of yours, something that's tied to you. Maybe your hair tie, a hair tie. There's a significance with a hair tie. It's a fucking problem is what it is, but I don't know. All right, this is making me wicked fucking dizzy. It's just spirit, but all right, get me out of this energy because holy fuck. I'm like literally shaking. Someone just might get shaky, jittery. Someone might have an issue like that. Um, like on the regular, they're just a high, strong fucking person or something. No, you're, you're picking up on another person. Yeah, I'm picking up on another person right now. Definitely other people, but the high priestess. Someone's really nervous that you know the truth. And they don't want you to know. So, so it almost feels like there isn't anything I won't do to shut your ass up. Is what that feels like. But I kind of feel like they can't. Someone can't shut you up or something. Something just didn't fucking work out. <coughs> Can I get more on this, please? Every time I want to make these quick, I just can't. I just can't. I just shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can't shut me up. I'm like, I just can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we have working together, collaboration, something you're working on. I mean, you could be a tarot reader because we have the high priestess here, and then we have work, but this was like a project. Some of you are trying to finish a project really quickly because it's like I got to get the information out. Make every moment count because this needs to be said before something bad happens. Oh. Providing a sense of clarity. Someone's upset because they didn't listen to you. They didn't believe what you were saying. Someone might have thought you were fucking nuts. And we're walking away. Somebody wanted you to stop doing whatever you're doing. They don't want you to be at the job that you're at. They don't want you to work on whatever project you're working on. They want your work to fucking fail. Somebody could have been eating up your time too so that you don't have time to do what you need to do. Um, and they're sitting in regret silently. That's a fucking tower here, definitely. Yeah, someone's trying to create a level of change within your career, whatever you're doing. Like, I don't like what you're saying. I don't like what you're creating. I don't like this, that, and the other. Whatever the fuck it is for you. Um, they might not want you to work together with certain people either. It's like, stay the fuck away from them because something great could happen there. So don't collab with them. Walk away from them. You could have walked away from a good opportunity, a collaboration, because of these blockages. But somebody was trying to change course, make you change course. Could be this energy right here. Someone who's acting enlightened, but they're fucking not. There's someone who's pretending to be a spiritualist. There's someone who's like, oh, I talk. I don't know. I get fucking spiritual information. Someone gets spiritual information, but they're getting it from you or they're getting it from a different spiritualist or multiple. Like, all right, I'm going to take this information from this fucking high priestess. I'm going to take this from that one. And... Put it all together and make people think that I'm all fucking high and mighty or something. Someone could be saying that about you if, you're, if you are a spiritualist. But this person is giving me kidney punches right now and it fucking hurts. <coughs> Ow. I feel like I just got, I don't know, somebody dealing with kidney stones or something. Um, anyways be due to drinking I don't know what that's about but um someone is stealing other people's information and ideas and they're getting it all mixed up and and messed up or whatever so it's almost like someone who should have been listening to a legitimate tarot reader or psychic medium or whatever is listening to someone who's just full, full of shit because they don't have clarity and 
whoever that is might be in regret going, why did I listen to him or her? Because they don't know what they're talking about. If you are prompted to take a break and not record if you do anything on YouTube or to stop doing readings, like not to do personal readings for a little while, excuse me, or anything like that, just take a break. Um, Spirit was telling you to take a break because these people can't get information from you when you do take a break because you're their money maker. That's what that feels like. Someone's up Shit's Creek without a fucking paddle. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's just fucking. Well, I just. Justice is over there. And it's almost like someone just threw it. But it's upright. It's curtains for you. I, <laughs> I heard that one night. Like, if we don't do this, it's curtains. You know, like in Hocus Pocus. We'll be. We'll turn to dust in the morning, kind of thing. Like when the sun comes up. When the clarity comes out, when the information comes out, it's curtains for us. Well, justice is behind the curtain. Justice is behind the curtain. Maybe this is someone's justice. Just seeing. Because we have the high priestess again. And the page of swords with the fucking emperor. <coughs> this motherfucker has been watching someone in my other reading. Oh my gosh, this made both my shoulders hurt. Holy shit. Like, oh, something's weighing heavy on someone. Well, this is a heavy fucking sword, isn't it? The truth sucks sometimes. I don't know, something's very fucking heavy. Like, cause I just feel like I wanna do this. Someone's hiding. They're hiding behind the screen. They're hiding behind, ow, someone. Mm. Like, I'm sorry, I'm getting so animated, but they're hiding behind the screen, the internet, catfish crap, like, but oh, it was making me think of, so when I was at one of my spiritual drives, when I was at a rest area a while ago, <laughs> a little pop vial thing that, I don't know, a pre-roll was in, or whatever, that was literally at my father's house. If that's not the same fucking one, then someone went out and got the same damn brand and everything, and it smells the same, so no, it was the same fucking one. But it was caught in a spider web, almost like a web of lies, a web of bullshit. Like, I'm caught up in a mess. I don't know who it's representing or anything like that, but it's like, someone's caught in a, in a mess. So, because someone was stealing their identity, in a sense. Yeah, they were. Like... Pretending to be them so you wouldn't know who was really the problem. Well, guess what? Justice is fucking here for that one. Just saying. Like, I just heard if you want to pretend to be me, you can take on all my other responsibilities because bills fucking suck and I don't have money right now. So, do you want to be broke? Here you go. Take my identity. Why don't you go bust your ass too? I don't know. Someone's like, if you want to be me, then you're going to have to do everything that I do. Pretty much. So you could have been changing things up, especially with work. Like whatever you're doing for work, whatever these people don't want you to do. Which it has something to do with spirituality and messages and stuff. But you could have been changing your approach so you're hard to pin down. Like... Okay, like say for example, you always do like the Celtic cross or something, and then it's like, no, I'm not going to read that way. I'm going to pull cards and just randomly do it, and then no, I'm going to go back to a different type of spread, or I'm not going to use cards at all. I'm going to write. I'm going to scribble. I'm going to, you know, do different things. You could have been changing things up, and whoever this is or these people are couldn't keep up because they didn't even know that, that people could get information that way because they were probably just studying cards or they don't even know what the cards mean because they're just listening to whatever you're saying and repeating it. There's a parrot here, a parrot. Could be a parent, but there's a parrot. Someone's parroting what you're saying. They're taking your shit. And someone you think is a friend of yours or someone you've collabed with or something, something to a fucking work. Could be another high priestess, someone that thinks that they're high priestess and they're not. I just said, oh, fuck. So whatever, there's that. 
it's time to move forward. Keep your shit to yourself, basically. Like, your ideas, any new plans that you have. Yeah. Shut up about it. Until you're ready to execute it. Um, someone might be going, like, oh my goodness. But this, that made me feel like, shh. <laughs> I do some weird stuff. <coughs> <coughs> I keep looking around like I'm looking around for more someone's looking for something like where did I put that fucking thing where is it they could be looking for like a crystal a charm something they have of yours where did I put that where did I put it somebody misplaced something or they're trying to get rid of something they don't want something to be found someone doesn't want something to be found itchy Itchy and scratchy. I don't know. Someone itches a lot. Where did I put that? Like they're itchy. That could be from a substance, an allergy, a skin condition. Owl dry skin makes you fucking itchy sometimes. But someone itches a lot. Uh, sometimes when you're nervous or upset, that can happen too. Like to certain people. But where did I put that? Why am I so, I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Like, that's what I feel like. Well, where is it? Where is it? I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for, but um, someone's looking for something. Where is it? A nail? The nail. The final nail in the coffin, just gonna say, but I'm just looking. Where is it? Could be a lighter, a match. Striking the net. Where is it? Thumbs up. Where is it? Why am I doing that? It might make sense later to some of you, me, whoever, but. Flick. Where is that? Because I just want to keep flicking shit and flicking this all around. Where is it? I don't know. Whatever the fuck that is. Um, somebody might be looking for sage or. I'm not getting it right because I keep doing it. Um, nail polish. I'm flinging something. I don't fucking know. I really don't. We'll fig I'll figure it out. I know I will. It'll come to me at random fucking time when it's necessary. Or if it's not meant for me, I'll never fucking know. So that's how it works. But is it why? That's how it works. Why? Why something? Why what? Why you? I've heard that before. Why you? Why did you do this? Why you? I want to do like I keep doing this. Why you? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Going round and round. I'm going round and round. I feel like I'm winding up yarn now. Like, winding something up. Something's, someone's wound up. Somebody's winding something up. Somebody could fucking crochet, knit, do something. I'm winding up something. Somebody's winding up. Why am I going back and forth? Maybe someone needs to goose for I'll just say it. Like, just calm the fuck down. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I have for you. I love you guys. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it helps. My wish is coming in. If you've been wishing for the truth, don't worry, it's here. It's coming in to you, for you. And beautiful things are coming in, which is going to probably wind people up and upset them. Yep, <laughs> it really is. I love it when that happens. Beautiful. This is a happy ending, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't always get what you want, you get what you need. And I feel like a lot of you are going to get what you want, especially if you've been putting up with some fuck shit. But I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.